This is the Weekend Update with Paul, and I'm Paul. And we have to address this fragrant and flagrant activity that's been taking place these last couple of weeks. The perpetrator that is being sought right now, his name is Eric Williams. And if you didn't see the season finale of Basketball Wives, let's take a look. I'm, I'm sorry, this is not the uh, the right video. I, I can't blame my producers because uh, Eric did some really nigga bitch shit, like really. Okay. Be real careful, you know what I'm saying? Be real careful. Some nigga bitch shit. I mean, what nigga throws a drink into a woman's face? Really? I mean, let's just talk here for a minute. I mean, there's a bigger problem here because real niggas don't do that shit. Real niggas don't do that shit. I mean, throw drinks in bitches' face, like really. I mean, that's some she by Sheree shit, like really. I mean, that is some uh, soy milk in my latte bullshit, really. And I don't blame Eric for throwing the drink. I blame that damn knot on the top of that nigga's head because you know that it has a mind of its own. And what the producers don't want to show you is that after that nigga threw the drink, he sashayed back to his car. Fragrant activity. Strong J, nigga. And women, you need to know how to catch the signs of these fragrant niggas. I mean, these fragrant niggas are the ones who try to dress, dance, and look better than a fucking woman. Like, really. I mean, men, man the fuck up. Man the fuck up. Really. I mean, if you're wearing skinny jeans, you're a fragrant nigga, like really. I mean, I mean, I can't fit my dick in those damn jeans. Like, I mean, if you're getting a manicure that's close to a fucking French tip manicure, I mean, you're a fragrant nigga. And if you have tattoos or piercings where bitches would have them, you're a fragrant nigga. And if you have keeping up with the Kardashians on your DVR, nigga, you're a fragrant nigga. I mean, and women, I mean, and you're not off the hook. I mean, you put up with this bullshit. You put up with the shit. I mean, you, you think you're gonna mold the nigga. You think you're going to, uh, I'm gonna change him. That's some bullshit. I mean, look, really, that's this bullshit. And black women want better for yourself. I mean, please want better for yourself. I know now why you want these thug ass niggas that will fuck you up and fuck your heart up. Like, really? I mean, really, because these fragrant niggas are all over the fucking place. Like, really? They're rampant. Like, really? I mean, and the thing is, I say stand up, women. Stand up, because in two years, if you don't, this is gonna be your baby's daddy. <laughs> I'm Paul, and I'll see you next week.